right, everyone. Time for another delicious MRE. I was going to do one the other day, but I got busy doing other things. So anyway, this is one I am excited for, and I'm really, really hoping. Please don't let it be like yes, uh, the other day's uh, raviolis. Tasted good. Accessories uh, largely sucked, and it got like a 4 out of 10 overall because it was too dry. This one is also a vegetarian menu. This is one of, I think, four or five meals that are for vegetarians mainly. Cheese tortellini in tomato sauce. Now, I've had cheese tortellini before, and I liked it. So I'm hoping I'm going to like this as well. This will be a good lunch if it's, um, you know, as good as I hope that it will be. I would say expect, <laughs> but it is an MRE, so keeping that in mind. Alrighty, and this one is fully double vacuum sealed, actually. Oh, those crackers have been ruined by the vacuum sealing. Okay. Hey, uh, U.S. military, uh, I think there's a little bit of a design problem already evident in this MRE. That was not a good idea. So here's the cheese tortellini. It feels dry. I I'm not going to lie, that, that feels pretty dense. We're going to hope that, you know, loosens up a little bit. Loosen up a bit, man. Let's see. We have uh, Trail Mix Recovery. Okay, if this has walnuts in it, which it probably does, I cannot eat it. Hmm, let's see. Wheat flour, folic acid, salt or syrup, canola and other soybean oils. Oh, it's got soy in it. Oh, shit. Peanuts, almonds, cashews. Okay, I may be able to eat that. It doesn't list walnuts. Good. Mildly allergic, but the thing is, if you're mildly allergic to nuts, you can randomly have a massive reaction. Chocolate peanut spread. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Again. Uh, it's got soy whistle in it. Oh my god, I'm gonna turn into a bug man. Hot sauce. Uh, oh, it's a cayenne sauce. Okay, we'll probably be using that. And let's see. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. Lemon lime. These usually are not good. Uh, I've had them in European MREs. The electrolyte beverages normally, they taste like that shitty aloe drink stuff you get. Vanilla pudding dessert powder. <laughs> it contains milk and soy. Uh, allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding to dessert powder. Tear pouch at notch, add four ounces of water uh, to pouch. Fold over top of pouch, firmly hold the top of the pouch, shake for 60 seconds. Finish stirring with spoon and consume promptly within an hour. So it's like an instant pudding. Okay, I, I might try that. Get coffee, gum, everything. Splenda. <laughs> and your ration heater and your spoon. Oh, and yeah. Okie dokie. That's... These are crackers. Um, that's not ideal. I don't know whose idea it was to design the MRE this way, uh, but you have fucking failed at life. That was a mistake. <laughs> Just to be clear, that one falls short. All right. So first and foremost, take the cheese tortellini. Yeah. I can tell that it's going to be dry like the ravioli. Let's hope that the flavor makes up for the, the dryness. And it actually tore. Excellent. All right. Well, this time, we will put the uh, actual MRE sleeve in first. Because once you get it wet and it bends more easily, it can actually bend the uh, oh, come on, the famous ration heater, the interior, I mean, uh, around the MRE. And I have to put the fucking... Oh, for the love of Christ. going to be an interesting MRE, I can tell you that already. Now... Come on, it doesn't matter which side you're on. I can't even get it in the slip. This feels like it's slightly wider than normal, too. This particular, uh... Come on. Okay. That's in. I already tell there's going to be a time of it. You just sort of have to eyeball it with that. Another problem is, uh, here's what I think was a problem before. When you put the actual MRE in and then you add the water, you can't use the fill line the same way. 
because the problem is there's something else in the bag with the Flamus ration meter. And so I've gotten pretty good at just pre-measuring and then eyeballing it. And, yep, yeah, it's going to be steaming. We're steaming. Yeah, there you go. You might even be able to hear that nice hissing steaminess. All right, I want this vanilla pudding. I don't even think I'm going to bother with the fucking beverage. Maybe I'll just overhydrate the pudding. Uh, okay, so where's the actual tear line on this? Um, <laughs> tear pouch at notch. What notch are you talking about? Okay, I don't make that evident. Yeah, it's not necessarily... Uh, of course, look at this. Tear at notch, and it doesn't tear. Of course. There's so many... Ooh, it smells good, though. Mmm. Hey, look. That's not even cocaine. Sleazy's gonna be complaining about this one. Let's say. Big shout-out to Sleazy P. Martini on both YouTube and BitChute. Four ounces of water. I think that's probably a little bit less than I need. But I'd rather add less because you can always add more, but it's going to be harder to subtract from it, actually. Sugar, non-fat dry milk, food starch, modified. How is it modified? Eh, we put drugs in it. Coconut oil, corn syrup solids, sodium casinate. Casein, isn't that that shit that they make bowling balls out of, actually? I'm drinking a bowling ball here, by the way. For the first time on YouTube, a person eats part of a bowling ball. It's in an MRE. Mm. Oh, it is mixing. I think I'm going to need my spoon. Handy dandy spoon. Spoons, by the way, the most versatile utensile. The only one that's capable of dealing with liquids. That's puffing out. Okay, it is thickening, though. A bit. I probably added a little bit too much water to that. That's okay. Yeah, if it's a little bit runny, it doesn't really matter. By the way, I mean, it's uh, you could just eat the powder if you really wanted to. Oh, no, actually, I think I did it perfectly. Oh, that's thickening it up nicely. No, I did a good job. Yes. Really sugary MRE, too. Can't wait to open up the uh, <laughs> vacuum-sealed crackers and get fucked up. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Nice and gooey. Actually, I think I added somehow the perfect amount of water. I'd rather have it a little bit on the thicker side anyway, I think. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely... Look at it cling to the spoon. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll taste you. Tastes just like that cheap shit you get in a box that you always ate as a kid. Unless you were uh, an emotionally stunted child. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's going to stand in for our drink. Because I'm not touching the carb powder. I know better. If I ever get that, like if I was in the military and I got that, I'd trade that out for a fucking pack of salt, dude. Try to give you a hiss. Maybe. Unfortunately, this is all fucked to hell. I think, unless the crackers are uh, pliable and just bent. No, see. Oh Jesus Christ! Thanks, Uncle Sam. Let's get this out on <laughs> onto a tray. <laughs> I will probably just crumble it up and put it in the tortellini. Okay, so Uncle Sam. Uh, oh, for the love of Christ! Okay, well, welcome to... Hey, troops, here's your crackers. That one's that one's a little bit intact. Mmm. Mmm, nice crumbly. I might just fucking add the hot sauce to this. What else can I put in there? I could, um... Ooh. If I crumble those up into the bag with the chocolate peanut spread... Mmm. I'm wondering. Making sure there's no walnut in it, like, literally. Okay, plan number two. This is now a bowl. 
I hear that this is this is the sort of thing that happens apparently in the, uh, in the military. Yeah, I can't fit them all back in. I can use um, fucking put that in with the border of or something. Alrighty. Oh my god. Yeah. The easy tear line is never truly easy tear. Okay. This is like Nutella, I guess, or something. Get in there. Oh, this is thick. This is gonna be kind of hard to mix, but we're gonna make um. We're gonna make a snack. Wow, this is a weird MRE though, dude. Oh god, that's thick as fuck. That's like Nutella, only thicker. Okay. That's good though. Okay. That gets an A for flavor, if not for being pragmatic. So we have dessert and dessert number two. Italians will have an easier time doing this. You can't stuff it in that way because it's too thick. But you can whirl it around and it sort of coats the crackers. This is epic. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Again, there are times that I wonder what I'm doing with life. Nope. We lost one. Oh no. Yeah. Mmm. This is like something you'd make in a trailer park, dude. It's tasty, though. That's just like Nutella. Only the peanut butter they used is mildly chunky. I actually like that. Mmm. Oh. These are a total fucking loss, though. Why would you vacuum seal them in and squish them in the process? And these MREs, I know that they weren't mistreated. God, I think these ones with the labels on them, I think came from uh, someone actually in the U.S. Army. Mm. Oh, it's tasty. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Christ almighty. There's some more in there. I'm not even going to... I can't deal with that. I have a feeling this hot sauce is gonna go on cheese tortellini. Um Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the nuts. I just wanna start in on the actual ratchet. Okay, yeah, it's heating this. Give that another minute there. I gotta eat my two desserts. Dude, literally, you're gonna give the soldiers diabetes. I realize they need energy, then give them something more sustaining. More meat or something. Hmm. That is good pudding, though. I will admit, that's just as good as the, uh, like, instant box mixes, but it's basically the same thing. What it should have, though, is tapioca. Tapioca pudding is the best pudding. I don't know how to explain to people who disagree. Okay. Good. Basically a pile of sugar, but I came prepared. I don't really want vanilla pudding in the entree, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but you know. yeah. of course that fucking vanilla sticks to everything. Ugh. Hate it. Alrighty. Yeah, that's hot enough. It's, um, I have a feeling this is going to be dense like the ravioli, and that the flavor will be considerably better than the uh, consistency. That's my prediction before actually opening and eating the entree here. Okay, basically finish that, get it out of the way. That's still hot. I, I could leave it in for another minute, but I'm kind of hungry, actually. This is lunchtime. I am, this is actually considered a meal. Yeah. Okay, the bottom's hotter than the top, so this. All you have to do is squish it around, and you can even out the heat, more or less. Okay, it's de it's more pliable now. It's less dense, I think, now that it's warmed up. We'll see. I think. That's my hope. All right, let's see what we're working with. Smell is good. 
better than the ravioli. Come on. Oh, it's actually autofocusing fairly well, I think, today. All right. It looks almost exactly the same as the ravioli, except with no meat in it, which means I expect it to yeah, taste roughly similar. Probably kind of dry. Hopefully, instead of meat having the cheese and maybe more tomato-y-ness, maybe it's slightly less dry. You can see the herbs in it, too. Okay, that part's good. Thank you, autofocus, for once in your miserable existence. Let's see. It is still on the dry side, but less so. Okay, it's less dry than the ravioli. That's a good thing. Mm. Plenty of herbiness. Um, it doesn't taste... Here, just a sec. It tastes familiar. It tastes, ironically, more like, like a veggie soup with a tomato-y broth than it does like an actual cheese tortellini. It's good, but it's kind of false advertising as far as what it is. I'm gonna add hot sauce to it. Uh, you don't have to, that's some, I'd say flavor-wise, it's a, it's a five out of 10 on both, as far as the uh, sort of texture and flavor. It's a little bit better than the ravioli one. All right, put in some fucking hot sauce, yeah, boy. You don't really need the spicy. It's not bad flavor-wise. I would say the beef ravioli has a slightly better flavor, but it's so much drier that it's almost it's worthless to eat it. This has redeeming value in the sense that you don't need 10 gallons of water to eat it with. Again, I'm surprised it all focused working so well today. Everything's a surprise today. Got a good hot sauce. Okay, that gives it a little bit of kick, that's better. All right, yeah, that improves the flavor. Now, this one's a cayenne instead of a Tabasco. Usually it is give you the Tabasco sauce. I like this one better, it's a little bit hotter. That's got a little bit more spice than Tabasco sauce. Mm. Christ, I was hungry. Totally famished. Maybe the fact that I'm so hungry is why I'm rating it a little bit higher. Maybe I'm biased. I'll have to eat several more of them in order to eliminate the bias. In order to truly tell. It's a hard knock life for me. Uh, yeah, it's it's better than the ravioli, though. I will say that for sure. But the MRE as a whole, is a, other than the, uh, other than the uh, actual entree, is fucked up. And you can't go wrong with mixed nuts unless you got dudes with peanut allergies, which I assume is a big problem. But I know that won't be good because I've had the electrolyte drinks before. That's fine, but you know, in combination with the fucking chocolate spread, the highly sugary, how many grams of sugar is in this fucking meal? This is one meal. Keep in mind, this is not a 24-hour MRE. This is a single meal for dudes that are like walking around. Now, yeah, if you're walking around 10 miles in a day, you need a little bit more caloric intake. But you don't need 70, 80 grams of sugar in a single meal. Dude, those dudes are gonna crash, is what's gonna happen. Uh, they're gonna be like fucking comatose. Doesn't matter if the dude's bodybuilding and shit. I mean, probably, you need more protein and less sugar, I think, in some of these. It seems like the US military is focused so much on adding calories that they've jettisoned half the protein in these meals. Okay. Now gone. Entree's fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? I'll eat that. It's just standard pudding. Good. Nothing special, but tasty. Entree's flavor. I guess maybe I'd give it a 6 out of 10 on the flavor. As long as you add the hot sauce to bring out the flavor. You could add a little bit more salt as well. But uh, they, they tend to be fairly salty. Anyway, what's the salt content actually of it? Hmm, let's see. Sodium. Oh, this one's only 20% of your daily intake. That's a lot less. Remember the other one, I think the fettuccine was 40%. This one's only 20. Um, yeah, it's an okay MRE. 
I'd st it's definitely in the bottom half still. Uh, and I won't even touch the electrolyte powder because I know that'll suck. If I drank that, I'd uh, bump it down to the bottom quarter just for existing. They should get rid of these larger drinks too. By the way, in my opinion, they should get rid of the electrolytes, the cocoa and all that simply because it's a space waster. Some of them are tasty, like that chocolate protein I had was really good. Ultimately, though, it would be more efficient to, in the accessory pack, put a tea bag as well as the coffee, for people who prefer that, add some celery salt, and bring back the little Tabasco jars, as opposed to having, like, I mean, this is a good hot sauce, but have a little jar, just for aesthetic effect, basically, just so the dude can have something to carry around. Maybe he only uses a couple splashes of it, saves it for the next meal if he doesn't get one. Things like this, it's just a pile of sugar. That's all it is. Yeah, you give the dude quick energy, an hour later he's crashing. It would be better to add more nuts. Although this is, feels like there's much more in this than you know, the little corn nut one that was all fucked up. I'm not even sure that you should retain the, uh, the pudding. <laughs> Maybe they should just have meals and they have a second entree. And they develop a new uh, flameless ration heater. You put them both in at once or something. So your side dish could be like, you know, um, it'd be in a, in a retort pouch, maybe mashed potatoes or something like that. So you have your side dish as well. They should probably experiment with that. It'd take up more room, but the thing is, you could eliminate several of these components, add some more accessories to it. I think it would be more efficient. Just my, uh, my own opinion. Untrained, never been in the military. Although military food, it's definitely better than the stuff people were eating in the 80s or 90s. I had a Vietnamese, uh, Vietnam era ration once in the early 70s. And of course, I couldn't eat the entree. It was all bloated and shit. But honestly, the coffee, <laughs> the coffee was excellent. Cocoa was uh, better than Swiss Miss, better than the modern stuff. I don't know how they made They must have literally put drugs in it because it was so good. I'd say adding this is good. Yeah, okay. Well, I had lunch at least. <laughs> <laughs> Only ate half of it. Uh, by the way, the crackers, come on, dude. You can do better. Don't don't uh, vacuum seal it and bend the crackers around. They're not capable of really of bending. They do this when you try to do that. That's about all. Peace out.